Good morning guys. Happy Friday. So uh, we have shrubs. The first thing of the day is shrubs. I like to do shrubs because guess what? It minimizes the strain on my shoulders. So we mow this yesterday. This is our last service for the day. And today we're gonna hit up all the shrubs. And I'm sure you guys have been following us for a while, seeing uh, what we can do. So let's get hot. I'm using the uh, my battery powered equipment today. So you know how we do it. I will show you some of it, but not all, okay? All right, but I will show you the end result. Thank you. 
Okay, gentlemen and ladies, this is just an update <clears throat> on how everything is looking. This one, two, three. I trim all these shrubs. Trim all of that. Where my battery powered, and I keep switching from this one to this one. So yeah, this is where we're at. And we're gonna go all the way around the house. This is fun, man. This is fun, I love it. Especially with this battery power stuff, it's extremely lighter. All right, let me continue. We are at a cleanup request and we're gonna trim up the shrubs. These are lower pedlums and clean out the plant beds and lay some pine straw. So this used to be a rental. Well, it is a rental. And look at all that jasmine vine, man. Yep. Got to trim that, pick up these sticks, clean this up, mow this yard, armadillo. Armadillo's been feeding in there. Good to go. Probably trim this 
Detroit Myrtle. See those? Those are armadillo holes. Oh, dang. Look at that. Hmm. Clean this up. So, yeah. Now, what I would tell you guys, and remember this, right? Anytime you're doing an estimate, don't be under the impression that you're going to have this property on a schedule, okay? You always charge the estimate for what is worth, okay? Charge it as if this is a one-time cleanup, and then if you happen to get the property, then you can say, okay, this is how much it is per month. Or this is on to this per service visit because what i found is that a lot of times some people will tell you clean it up maybe give me a good price i give you the property and you end up not getting the property okay so make sure that you're doing it the right way all right simple as that all right so we will and this is the other side let me show you the other side real quick and yes you know we gotta edge it up and this is the other side to it. So, not a bad cleanup. Pine straw, so I'm looking at not about 20, 25 bales. Yeah. Another thing, when I, uh, when I give an estimate for the bales, I usually give them a plus or minus five. This way, if I go over by five, depending on how thick they want it, then, you know, we're good to go. The customer don't feel like he or she has been cheated out of some pine straw. All right, well, hopefully we get it. On to the next.